hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, welcome. And welcome Cross Watchers. I'm going to be taking a look at your situation with you and the person that is on your mind. This is a reading meant for the collective. So as always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. You can always take a look at your other placements. You may find some messages there for you. And if you are interested in a personal reading, all of that information will be left in the description box below for you guys. Okay. Let's see here. What is going on? on for my my Tauruses what is happening for you guys wheel of fortune okay so I see like in the past things have been really on and off like one thing one moment something's going really good the next moment it's like the opposite so it feels like on and off like there's just cycles this is a karmic cycle with the wheel of fortune this is some sort of pattern that has happened over and over again here which is why it's like on and off so i see like in the recent past here you have been hurt um for some of you it could go as far as betrayal being stabbed in the back or heartbreak, pain, a separation, maybe for some of you even deception or shocking attack. But in general, you have been hurt here. I can see that this is what's behind you. I feel like you've worked really hard to... I feel like you've invested a lot of time into either a relationship or a work situation here that like one moment is good and the next moment it's like falling it's going downhill so i feel like you've taken a break here you have taken a break from somebody and you are now doing some auditing on this situation is it working it, is it bringing you stability in your life is it something that is going to last in the long term so I feel like you're you've gotten something out of this there's something that you have learned this time and now you are now you are like I'm, I'm hearing coming up with a plan or trying to do things differently or thinking of ways to do things differently the person that is on your mind here um, I see oh that's a lot that is a lot. All right, we'll take it. So they're very silent right now. Virgo, the hermit is Virgo energy. Um, they're very quiet. I see this person is doing some soul searching right now or they're doing some reflection on their behaviors. We have addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a blocker restraint here. So I, I see that... There's a block in communication. This person has suddenly went silent or suddenly ghosted. And I feel like this is something that they do. Like it's a form of it's a form of addiction. Like it's it's a cycle that I see just like kind of repeats itself. Like this is nothing new. What they're doing right now is nothing new to you. Um, but they're looking for answers. They're actively looking for some guidance or wisdom they're trying to look for that wisdom here so I see this person starting to take action they're taking action I'm hearing like pilgrimage like this person could be literally like from one second like their face is off the f like they're off the face of the earth like they're just completely silent no one's hearing from them so I see this person has some tension or anger towards a, a tough conversation here with that five of swords I mean this is not a, this is not a conversation that one usually hopes for but I see this person taking action right now on 
some reflection on their on their own actions so I see this person doing some introspection reflecting on themselves this person has been really in and out of your life with this knight of wands it's like they're here for one season they're gone the next season so it's really on and off with this person here and now i see this person is like wondering like why do i do this or i need to change looking for answers so or even working focusing on work Trying to forget what has happened. Let's take a look at you, Taurus. What's going on with my Taurus? Give me one card, please. What is going on? Please give me one card. Okay. The High Priestess. So you're observing. I feel like you're... You could be watching this person. You're also very silent. You two are both like quiet right now. But you're observing. You are. I feel like you could be very. Quiet or there's. You're trying to listen to your intuition here. The six of swords. You may. I feel like. You could be silently moving on from this person. You have turned your back. You're moving on to a new destination. You're getting out of choppy waters. And you're getting to a more peaceful place. So I feel like you are moving towards peace. Secretly. You could be... There's some secret that you could be holding on to. And this could have to do with your stability or your security when it has to do with like um, financial matters because we have the palm tree. So your stability and your security, your independence. I'm seeing right now like you for some of you you are realizing that you deserve more or you deserve better you deserve something stable and consistent i'm hearing consistencies now you're now you're observing everything that has happened up until this point and i feel like you're choosing you i feel like you're you're choosing you um taurus but this person is about to come back, though. I see someone coming back in. You could have some secrets. Some of you, you have more than one person in your life. You could have options. You could be dating. Someone's ex about to express some love to you, Taurus. There's a message of love coming in. Someone has been thinking of you and is about to let you know. So we have a love call. One card, please. Okay, we got you. That's fine. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. We literally have the emperor and the empress. Both of them came out. The Emperor and the Empress both came out. This is like literally like your other counterpart. Like this is your counterpart who is coming in here. We have a love call. Someone expresses love with that Empress there. And we have an Emperor. Wow. This is amazing. Yeah. I mean, I see things developing here. Somebody wants something long term. Somebody is seeing you as like wife potential or husband potential. I mean, we have the emperor and the empress here. So I definitely see like, I see a love call coming in here. And it's going to be, this is like abundance. The empress is abundance. Something, somebody has an abundance of love. An abundance of love here. 
and stepping up. This is an emperor or an empress. So this is somebody who's going to stick around. This isn't someone who is on and off here for season, gone the next season. Um, this is stability. And somebody is about to like just go for it. A decision is being made. A decision is, is being made here. This could have to do with a new beginning, uh, a new start. Something is being offered. And I'm seeing that. I'm seeing that this could be coming from another person as well. I mean, this person that's been on and off is coming into your life. And I feel like there's one more person who is who could be very stable, who is letting you know that they see you as um, they love you very much. And um, somebody who you have had a disconnect with or you may have felt rejected from or having doubts about is also coming in with an apology or an offer. A love offer, a love call, but I feel like you don't want it anymore. Because you have an empress or an emperor now. The signs that I'm seeing is Pisces, Virgo, uh, Libra, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. Eight of Wands, yeah, we have we have lots of communication coming in for you guys. Eight of Wands. I see you getting into alignment here. Things are about to align for you. I see happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. You're moving into a period of just pure bliss and pure happiness. There's lots and lots of communication coming in. It's going to be very passionate. It's going to get your heart pumping. It's going to... It might make you a little bit nervous at first, but it is... It's a good news, okay? So, don't worry. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. We have the Ace of Pentacles. This is like marriage potential here. Especially with the Empress and the Emperor. Like, this is a solid offer. This is the beginning of a commitment. A serious commitment for you guys. Congratulations. I just see a bunch of happiness. I see happiness for you, Taurus. Spirit wants you to know this is just crazy. Oh my gosh. I guess listening to your intuition here is paying off. get some details for you guys courting man somebody is about to court you someone who's available for dating or somebody who is a gentleman or um, is very like uh, I'm hearing men about town. You or this person could be a young female. You have sp spiritual growth and I feel like that goes underneath the high priestess here. And that your intuition is getting stronger for you guys. Or you're about to reach a next level of your intuition. Or like a next level of your, your third eye opening. Communication. So there's lots of communication. There's good news coming towards you. Um, yeah, I also see travel. Communications about travel. Dating queen. Gifts coming towards you. Flowers or just... Is a lot. A lot is coming. You have a lot coming towards you. A lot of good stuff. The Empress is, a, is abundance. You have a lot of love coming towards you. A lot of happiness. Like you're moving into a period of abundance, Taurus. Let's get a few more cards before I close off this reading for you guys. Is there anything else? 
that we should know for Taurus. Is there anything else that we should know for Taurus? Okay. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Something's going to be explored even more. Something is developing here. We have a soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And we have, or give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I mean, uh, you're being offered something really good. Something that's going to bring you a lot of happiness here. Um, but Spirit wants you to maintain the amount of love you have, you have for yourself. Keep it up. Because I see that you're, there's a turning point for you. Something is going to be explored even further. There's a love call coming in for you guys. Um, somebody who wants a chance with you. So... With that being said, this is your reading. If it resonated with you, let me know. If you found some guidance or clarity in your situation, also let me know in the comment section down below. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Bye.